It is. <laughs> Ooh, why is that on the strobe? Ugh, <laughs> uh, okay. Hi guys, I am back today with another tutorial. We're gonna be learning the click roll. Please excuse me if I sound like a little bit stuffed up. I was sick for like two weeks and I'm finally almost getting over it. The click roll, there's like three different variations of the click roll. You have the click roll, the inward click roll, and then the inward vocalized click roll. So the click roll is And then the inward lip roll is And then you have the vocalized click roll, which I don't use because I don't necessarily like it that much, but it sounds like <laughs> See, I can't do it very well because I don't use it, but I'm still gonna try to teach you guys it. Right, so my click roll, I do on my right side and it's kind of in the same area as if you were to go, you know, like <laughs> Hey little mom mm. Mm. <laughs> I do it back in that area. The you're gonna, you're gonna use that same cutoff motion to do your click roll. So my tongue is positioned up in the right back kind of-ish corner. Not really the total back, but up in that, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I need a flashlight. It is. <laughs> Ooh, why is that on the strobe? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's not helping. <laughs> My tongue, the, this, that part right there is kind of like, kind of almost fits right in that area as like a little puzzle piece. What I do from there is I kind of pull my tongue, I suction it a bit and like I'll show you, you can be, you'll be able to see it with my tongue. My tongue will like, like suck in a little bit. <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining things. It almost looks like, like a beating heart. It's kind of weird. Where is this noise coming from? Well, you're not going to completely push your tongue up in that area because then the air won't be able to go between the top of your mouth and your tongue. And we're going to pretend this is my teeth, okay? So this is, this is my teeth right here. My pinky finger is my teeth. And then this finger is going to be my tongue. So it's, it's resting right up in there touching my teeth and the top of my mouth. When I first got it, I was only able to do the bunch of rolls in a row, which is But now since I like mastered the sound, I can individually do little pops, which is So if you got that, we're gonna move on to the inward lip roll, which is so when I do the inward click roll, I do not use the sides of my mouth. I actually use just the top of my mouth. If you feel around in there, you'll feel like you have this little arch in the top of your mouth. I don't know mouth science terms, so that little indent, like that little thing where it's like this, at the top of your mouth, that's where my tongue goes. It goes at the very beginning of it, towards the front of my mouth. Right when the top of your mouth starts to go up, that's where my tongue goes. I'm gonna place my tongue up there. I'm just gonna breathe. I'm gonna, and I'm not, like I said, again, I'm not gonna push it too hard to where no air will go through it because then you're not gonna get the noise. Gently put it up there and just breathe in. I need my flashlight. Oh my God, it's on strobe again. Okay. So weird. <laughs> And the harder you breathe in, the louder the sound's gonna get. It's a weird sound to use, but I mean, it, it, it's good to live, maybe. Now the vocalized inward click roll. Again, I don't use this. You're basically just adding your voice to it. You're doing the same motion as if you were to do the inward click roll. You're just adding your voice. 
Yeah, I don't really like that noise. But I know some people use it and everybody's style is different. So keep practicing. Like I always say in every one of my other tutorials, beatboxing is something that definitely takes muscle in your mouth. So you gotta build a muscle in your mouth as well as muscle memory. You keep doing it, you're gonna get better at it. Don't give up. You guys got this, I know you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.